Researchers at the Italian Institute of Technology are teaching two-legged robots how to fly with a jetpack. Well, called Iron Cub, the robot has a jet turbine on each arm and one on each shoulder. We have to rework all the jetpack. We have to rework all the uh, all the lower body. So if you have to, you have to imagine that from here there is exhaust and gas getting out at 800 degrees Celsius at supersonic speeds. So you get two problems: air speed breaks anything that it needs and melts anything that it needs. And then so you we have to build this special uh, this special uh, protection for the iron cap. The Iron Cub has become the first humanoid robot to be tested in a wind tunnel at Politecnico di Milano. To validate its aerodynamics and collect valuable data, the team hopes to be able to fly and it will allow Iron Cub to perform search and rescue operations in locations too dangerous for inaccessible or inaccessible for people. The ultimate goal is basically to have a disaster response technology that can help operators to act remotely, where basically it's difficult to walk and to arrive to get to the place. So you would like something that flies, avoids debris and obstacles, lands, makes inspections, uh, looks for survivors. And then once this technology and the robot did it for one building, it takes off and it moves to another building looking for survivors. So, advanced platform for uh, uh, disaster response. The team is working on systems to allow the robot to maintain steady flight and control takeoffs. The eventual goal may see Iron Cub fitted with a wing to allow it to gain the benefits of horizontal flight. Researchers hope that this innovative research could lead to a revolution in the capabilities of humanoid robots, expanding their potential use in disaster response and inspection tasks.